and the answer is no. I will not be the oldest draft pick the Vancouver Canucks have ever taken at 48 years old. God, I recognize all of you. My God, I don't. I do. I know you and you. You're a really good hockey. You got good hands, dude. You've got silky mitts, my brother. You are the first person who's ever told me that. Because I'm the first real ever hockey fan, dude. I love you, man. I love you. Go for Will. Oh my gosh, am I? <laughs> I walked out, it was dark when I got dressed. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing my leaf hat, it's a bit of a psych out. I'm trying to do a little bit of a psych out job. Uh, obviously my team it, um, is captained by uh, Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisettle, two really good hockey players. Uh, and so we got to go against uh, a lot of guys stacked from, from my hometown. So I figured I'd just do a little mind game. I don't know. I'm not great at mind games. They just have so much respect for me. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, you can see it in their eyes. They didn't say it. They didn't show it. But I can see it deep in their eyes. I don't, actually, I don't know what they thought. <laughs> Finally, somebody has the guts to ask the question about Blades of Glory. Uh, it did not prepare me. I don't know what I'm doing. I was saying, you know, I said out there, and I don't know how you felt when they're saying, like, who are you going to pick? Now, you actually own a hockey team. I do not. But I said that the last thing you want to do when you're put, putting a hockey team together is ask the actor uh, for his advice. So uh, I'm just trying to, like, help those guys make the best and, uh, Blades of Glory. By the way, of all the skaters in Blades of Glory, of all the main actors, not the greats. I was the best, I can say that. Because it's 15 years of paper, so I feel safe. Stay on the left, right over here. Yeah. Uh, this question is for Michael. Uh, Michael, you referenced tonight being in first place in your fantasy league. My sources tell me that might not be completely accurate, but uh, I wanted to ask you, how do you use your fantasy knowledge tonight to strategize in the draft? Uh, well, uh, I mean, well, <clears throat> I want to sound more like you. You got a beautiful deep voice. Uh, Matt, I'm in more than one hockey league. That's right. So, uh, in the LHL, which I'm in with you, I happen to be in fifth place. And uh, even though I had no first overall pick, first pick even, I didn't have a first rounder, um, and I still did what I had to do because of my genius. Second, I am first place in the FHL, other hockey, fantasy hockey league. Third, my buddy told me this is just a microdose of mushrooms, and he was lying. <laughs> so I'll be honest, I thought I was in blades of glory for most of the time that I was out there, until it sort of settled down, and then I realized, holy I am at the NHL All-Star Game. You know, it just occurs to me that all, uh, through all the incredible songs and, that you've done over the years, and all the, the hearts of women that you've won over around the world, with all that talk about fantasy hockey, you lost them all in one sentence. <laughs> it all just evaporated. You years of building it up, and, just, yeah. and it just gone. Yeah, the mushroom talk lost me all of my contracts, well, the mushroom too. talk definitely lost you a lot of income. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody got the guts to follow up on the mushrooms? Yeah, right here on the left. <laughs> um, I actually had a great question until the mushroom talk. Um, I was wondering, now that the teams have been drafted, let's talk about the real action. Are there any side bets, losing teams, matching tattoos? What are we talking about? Uh, we're the... No, don't say it, Will. Okay. I mean, this is real. Okay. This is so real. even though he was probably going to say we're just sort of... Yeah. Figureheads. Yeah. It's not true. We literally are the heart and soul of these teams. And uh, if they win, it'll be because of us. And if they lose, it will be because of us. And I, you know... Sorry. I'm not afraid to put it on the line. You know, I have a lot... I've, I've mentored a lot of coaches hockey soccer the Jurgen Klopp called me last week asking for some advice over in Liverpool and I just told him stay strong uh, but this means a lot 
this means a lot. Bragging rights in my hometown for real, to answer your question for real, bragging rights means a lot, and sure, if I if I win, I don't know if we're gonna get a tattoo or anything, am I gonna, and am I, I'm, you know, I'm 53, am I gonna rub it in, in Michael's face? Yeah, yeah. a lot. There were deals, but honestly, for us, I don't know about you guys, but there were deals made. Uh, we won't probably talk about them, but there were definitely times where you could watch us walking over to the other podium. I don't know if we did it with you, but... We didn't do it, but there were deals, we, we talked even before, they talked about certain guys were like, hey, listen, we're, we're thinking, that's probably much like it in the league, right? Yeah. Uh, we, I mean, you guys call it collusion. We call it um, working it out. I don't, I'm not saying that. I'm just quoting you. 